Good afternoon, folks. Coming off the forecasted solar flaring uptick, we will make another forecast. Figure some eye candy to dawn. The opening here was warranted. A failed eruption from the northern sunspot group. This one came so close but couldn't escape the upper coronal magnetic fields, and it arced back down. That often happens before a successful eruption, but let's go right ahead and get on with that forecast. You'll remember several days ago the sun was quiet. We had gone days without solar flares, and the sunspot number was low. We had said that would change by the end of the week, and here we are. Many more sunspots now, with more coming, and a return of the M-class solar flare activity. Luckily, those have been impulsive, a real but benign end to the lower activity stretch. But there's probably a bit more coming. Hopefully we recall this image showing the helioseismic returns indicating the far side characteristics of the sun. In the yellow portion mapping that far side of the sun, the black areas are the huge sunspots we saw about two weeks ago. They're about to crest back into view over the eastern limb, with the yellow-gray meeting line on the right being the spot where items come from the far side and into the Earth view. We'll be seeing those early next week. The coming active regions are already giving themselves away from Earth's view. Looking at the brightness on the left side, those are the incoming active areas and should surge the sunspot number in the coming days, likely to continue the rise in solar flare and eruptive activity as well. I hope we all enjoyed the week of quiet we got here while the Earth-facing half of the sun took a little nap, but it appears the far side sunspots are going to survive their Carrington rotation and come back around next week. I'll see you in the morning for the Daily Show. Got some excellent articles on deck for tomorrow. Be safe, everyone.